I work with water because it's one of the most important resources we have on the planet and without water none of us can survive. We need clean drinking water. Bozeman Creek, also known as Sourdough Creek to a lot of folks, um, is the city's drinking water supply. It starts in the headwaters up in the Gallatin Range, flows into town and becomes this urban resource for recreation and community values that people can enjoy. Bozeman Creek is a beautiful stream and a great resource but does have some issues, like sediment, nutrients and bacteria, which is our focus today. As Bozeman continues to grow, these issues could grow too, if we aren't careful. Bozeman Creek is identified as having high levels of E. coli bacteria, which is impairing its uses for recreation and human contact. 99 some percent of E. coli are not pathogenic, but the reason that we monitor for E. coli is because they're specific to the guts of warm-blooded animals. And so when there is E. coli present in the stream, it means that there's been some kind of connection with a fecal source. So there are many different sources for E. coli bacteria that can show up in a waterway. Some of those include waterfowl, wildlife, septic systems, and our favorite pets like dogs. People get out in the stream and understand the water quality and get engaged in collecting the data, then they'll be more likely to it'll foster stewardship and people will be more likely to protect those water resources and change their behavior. So the role that Extension plays here in Bozeman, as well as across the state, is bringing scientifically based information to helping people protect and use their natural resources. By collecting the data, having the community members involved, they can understand the sources of where the E. coli is coming from, educate themselves and their neighbors, and then we can start working towards reducing the E. coli in Bozeman Creek. And collecting that data over the long term will be helpful because we'll see if we're making improvements and progress in cleaning up the stream. The project has 18 sample sites laid out from the mouth of the canyon to the confluence with the East Gallatin. All of those sample sites are visited on the same day to give us a snapshot of water quality so we can understand where water quality issues come up and what the likely causes might be. After volunteers have collected a sample, it's brought back to the lab for analysis where nutrients are added and allowed to dissolve. The sample is then transferred to a quanti tray, sealed and placed in an incubator. After 24 hours, the samples are checked for yellow cells and fluorescing cells, indicating the number of bacteria. The results give us a snapshot of bacteria concentrations along Bozeman Creek, which helps us to start thinking about sources and how to address them. With wildlife and, and waterfowl, there's really not a whole lot we can do about that. That's a natural thing. For septic systems, homeowners need to make sure they have their septic systems pumped on a regular basis. To help reduce E. coli pollution from livestock, um, a rancher can provide a buffer to keep their livestock away from the surface water source. As an owner of a pet, I might wonder why is it important that I pick up after my dog when I take him for a hike in, say, uh, Burke Park or on Pete's Hill, and I can't even see Bozeman Creek, but um, I'm just one pet owner, and cumulatively, if each pet owner doesn't pick up after their dogs, then we have a big problem. And when it rains and when the snow melts, all that waste um, can make its way into Bozeman Creek. The city of Bozeman has made it really easy for residents to pick up after their pet. At all the trailheads, um, they provide doggy poo bags you can take with you to pick up after your pet and convenient uh, trash stations to deposit the bags in when you're done. It's pretty common across the U.S. to see heavily polluted urban waterways that look more like ditches than streams. It's not too late for Bozeman Creek, but as a community, we need to recognize that the snow and rain that runs off from our sidewalks, our trails, and our roads ends up in our streams. We all have to do our part to ensure that runoff stays clean.